In this example, we're given a variable n, and we're told it represents the number of DVD players sold in milliamps. And that's, of course, going to vary from year to year. So the year we're looking at here is 2004. And they're telling us in 2004, the value of n is 4.2. And we want to interpret this, take a, take a sentence that's given in mathematical language, n equals 4.2, and explain what it means. We're going to essentially translate this mathematical equation into a sentence that would make sense in English. So whenever I begin to do this, I first look at the variable they've given me, n. And if I go back to my given information, they have to have told me what n is. So if I look right here, it says n, let n be. It's another way of saying n is this, the number of DVD players sold in millions. So one way to approach a problem like this would just be to write that out. We're talking about n, so let's write out what n is. The number of DVD players sold. Let's see, DVD players. Sold in millions. And then we see the symbol equals. So when we translate the symbol equals, we can always say is. And then we've got 4.2 here, is 4.2. So this would be one way to say n equals 4.2 in English. The number of DVD players sold in millions is 4.2. And that's an okay way to say it, but that's not usually how we talk in when we're speaking. We don't say the number of DVD, DVD players sold in millions is 4.2. We'd usually probably say, we'd co combine these two phrases, right? That the in millions and the 4.2. So we probably would say the number of DVD, DVD players sold, DVD players sold, is 4.2 million. That would be a more, a smoother way of saying it. So the number of DVD players sold is 4.2 million. If you're entering this in WAMAP, they're not going to want you to write 4.2 in the word million. They're going to want you to express it as a number. So let's think about how we can rewrite 4.2 million as a number. One way you can do that is to think about it as 4.2 times a million. So a million has six zeros afterwards. What happens when I multiply that 4.2 times 1 million, I end up with 4,200,000. So this would be the number you would want to write into WAMAP or how you would write out the number 4.2 million 